fucked up my crafted rights. That was a little ridiculous. Ah, come on. Really? What do you want now, Twitter? What do you want? Hey, this week's snapshot. Hey, let's go see what they changed. All right, Minecraft Knights, this week I hung out with Evil Seth from the bucket team of Mojang to check out the new snapshot 12W16A. Time to give you the most detailed snapshot update. First up, new world generation options. A few of these server side commands you might actually recognize. Under more world options, now you have allow cheats option and also bonus chest. Having this option on lets you use commands like slash game mode one or zero now and that turns on your creative mode or turns it off. You can also type slash XP and get an infinite amount of XP. Now this only lets you go up to 5,000 instead of 9,000. They had a chance there. They could have made that joke. Currently there's a glitch where even if you have cheats on or off, you are able to still give yourself game mode or these XP options. So of course those will be fixed down the road. You can access these in single player now simply by pressing T and you'll now have your chat come up. Now if you do decide to use these creative mode options, you won't have your inventory accessible anymore the same way. You actually have to use a chest or a workbench, something like that, to actually see what you're carrying on your person. As for the chest option, if you have it on, right when you spawn, you pretty much have a chest right next to you, and it's going to be filled full of random items. This helps for new players, but also if you don't like the tedious work of creating your very first tools. We also have new chat commands that you may recognize. If you hit slash and then hit tab, you'll cycle through all the available options you have, such as kick, band, things like that. If you do decide to type one of these, like slash TP, you can hit tab once again and we'll start cycling through all the names that are currently on the server. Another nice feature that was added, a crash bug log. So anytime you crash, it will automatically send a report to your roaming folder in your dot Minecraft. We've also been informed about a demo mode that will be available. Now you won't be able to use this until this gets pushed to the full update of Minecraft, but it will give you 5 in-game days to play, equivalent to about 1 hour. You'll also be able to check on the amount of time that you have left, and also have a purchase option right on the menu or continue playing. Some bug issues, you can now delete items in creative mode that are on your menu just by simply dropping it back into the creative items list. Still a few glitches, some silly ones like this, a fun staircase open glitch, kind of odd. And as I talked about the glitch where even if you have cheats on or off, you still can use them in single player. But that is essentially it for all your snapshot updates. I do always live stream these snapshots with a bunch of the Minecraft Monday Show fans, so be sure to follow over at twitch.tv slash as I always usually hang out with somebody of the Minecraft community like this week Anthem and the Bucket Mojang team, Evil Seth. So thank you for your time and as always I enjoy updating these with you. So I will see you guys next week and of course on Monday for the Minecraft Monday show. I am Bebop Vox, diamonds to you and happy Minecrafting.